In this video, we're exploring the popular McLean's Automotive Wreckers in Milton, Ontario, Canada. McLean's Auto Wreckers received their very first vehicle on the lot sometime around 1958, and since then, they have taken literally thousands of broken down and old vehicles. Wandering this property is like walking a maze. Some vehicles have been there for so long that you almost can't even see them between the rust and all the overgrowth. For many years, this old automotive graveyard has not only been a popular place for car enthusiasts to find parts needed for their projects, but it has also been a must-see stop for local photographers and explorers of all types. If we had as many customers buying parts as we have had people taking pictures, we'd have nothing left to sell, laughs 70-year-old John McLean, who co-owns this business with his younger brother Doug. He says, if there were as many paying customers as camera buffs, we'd be all set. Walking around the McLean's auto wrecking yard, it's very difficult to believe that any vehicle has ever found its way off the property. Trees, some of them more than 10 meters in height, have grown up through engine compartments long ago robbed of their contents. One 1950s panel van even has a small tree that has forced its way through the rusty roof and has continued to grow. Okay guys, so like I said, this place is so huge and there are so many cars and there's so many rows it is an actual maze in here, and it would take weeks to see this whole place from top to bottom, inside and out. Like, check this out right here. Look at this. Two old cars stacked on top of each other. Crazy, right? And then, so here, you got this old car right here, and I have to apologize, guys and girls. I am not... A car enthusiast so I don't know a lot about cars so you guys are gonna have to tell me in the comments what are we looking at here what types of cars are we looking at so here we're gonna go through this uh, this here into the forest and like I thought I was done I thought I was at the end of the property and then I looked through and I saw all these other cars back here and these trucks Just check this out, guys. Look how old these cars are. But yeah, you would have to come here dozens of times, guys, to see everything on every corner in every row of this uh, of this old car graveyard. It's actually a wrecking yard called a uh, McLean's Automotive Wrecking, I believe. And it's in uh, Milton, Ontario. And you can come here and check the place out. The guys will let you in. And uh, they're super nice guys. Just tell them what you're here for. How many people are you here with? What are you gonna do? And they'll let you guys come on in and hang out. So, came in and the guys just told them I'm here by myself, I'm a photographer. Gonna take some pictures and shoot some video. Instead, I'd be here for about two hours. And they said, okay, just let us know when you leave. Man, like. I wish I had like a friend here who knew more about cars. Hey, my buddy Ed. I know my buddy Ed's watching this. He knows all these cars for sure. He'd be able to tell me what the hell we're looking at. Because I don't know. Just never ending, guys. Perfect place if you're working on a project and you need a part you can't find. I'm sure these guys probably know a lot about what cars they have and where they are. Probably help you find your part real easy.
this. Somebody will help on the window. It's a nice, beautiful fall day, guys. It smells so good in here with the leaves changing, leaves falling. Perfect time to get here. It's a little bit, I wish it was a little bit more into the fall season, a bit more color. But uh, take what I can get, guys. It's still pretty damn nice in here. So let's make our way through. And uh, there is no method to where I'm going here. I don't really know what's what. Got to find you guys some of those cars with trees growing up through them. These things here, they're, they're so rusted, you can't, almost can't even see them. They've been here for so long. Check this out. A tree stump. And as the tree stump grows, grows, it's lifting. Well, they've actually cut this tree, but still. Like, check this out. Insane. Here's a good one. Here's a perfect example. Watch this, guys. From here. Look at the size of this tree. That wasn't even there when these cars were put here. Is that not something else or what? Here, guys. Look at this. Who knows what kind of car this is? I sure don't. Sorry about the schnuffles. It's a little bit cold out here today, guys. So I got the schnuffles. Cars way back there, just buried in the trees.
So we'll take a walk up this way. And what we'll do is we'll make our way over to that side where there's some more cars. And uh, that will do the end of this uh, narrated guided tour. And then I'm going to take some more footage, guys, of just uh, walking around, not talking. I'll do some voiceover narration with a little bit of history on this place for you. And uh, we'll take another look at some of these cars. And then we'll wrap this one up, guys. So let's just keep going through here and uh, check this place out. That way over here. During my visit, I quickly realized that it would take me several visits to cover this whole property. There are at least four large fields full of old cars, rows upon rows of old cars, vans, trucks, school buses, and more. Step off the path into the evergreen forest and you are welcomed by the sight of some of the oldest cars on the lot, entirely overgrown and slowly being buried by years of fallen needles and leaves from over 50 years of changing seasons. This big boat. And 
we got a bunch of school buses over here on this side. Vans and school bus. Okay guys, so since I'm not doing much talking, let's just play some music and uh, let's just check this place out. Enjoy the video guys, grab yourself a drink, get yourself some popcorn. Let's take a walk and take a closer look at some of these cars. Take a look at this property and see what we have.
Okay, guys, that wraps this one up. Thanks a lot for watching. This has been the McLean's Auto Wrecking Yard in uh, Milton, Ontario. If you guys want to visit this place, look it up online. Come in, ask the guys for permission. Tell them you're going to take some pictures and they'll let you guys walk around. Hope you guys have liked this one. I certainly have. Been looking forward to coming to this one for a really long time. Guys, I'm going to wrap this video up with some pictures that I took here so you can check it out. Thanks a lot, guys. See you on the next adventure.